now we're gonna dissect and tear down a legendary botched thievery whatever the fuck you want to call this courtesy of straight out of the 6 tv i still don't know why the fuck people watermark or plaster some fucking brand across the video like this that they don't own i couldn't find the original video it's fucking impossible so we've got some a badge across the screen which is annoying as fuck but let's get into it Yeah, that's done. You're done. We're off to a good start. It looks like he was trying to steal a package. You know, I've watched this video about 15 times, and I've read the uh, the title a lot, and I knew he was trying to steal a pa package, but I've never seen it until just now. I somehow just now noticed it. I don't know if it's because it's the same color as like the house or whatnot, but I don't know why he was like on his tippy toes. Why would he not just run up and grab it as quick as he could? Like, it's going to be super suspicious, and everyone's going to notice you're stealing the package anyways. Why would you waste time? I mean, I'm not a thief, and even I know that. This dude was, like, fucking, like, trying not to make noise as if he didn't park his car in the dude's driveway. Why would you not just dart up, grab it, and then dart back to the car? Then you wouldn't have to worry about shit. That, that was mistake number one. <laughs> You're done. Cops is coming. Cops is coming. And mistake number two is bringing a Toyota Yaris as your getaway vehicle. It's got no torque, no horsepower, no leverage whatsoever. You're not getting nowhere with this. And he totally, it can't even get up a little hump of snow. He's fucked. Please call the police now. Look, Dan, your wheels are not spinning anywhere. You're, you're caught, you asshole! <laughs> I like how he's inside his vehicle, like, jerking himself around as if he's going to build up enough momentum to, like, move the car around to get it out of the snow just by moving in his actual fucking car. That's the dumbest shit I've ever... It reminds me of the one time that Dana White is on a talk show and he talks about how he's fighting Tito Ortiz on a plane. And the plane is in air and it's moving back and forth because they're causing so much ruckus. Which obviously isn't fucking possible. There's no way you could cause turbulence in a plane from inside of the fucking plane. And that's what this dude's trying to do. I, I, like, he's weaker than his car. Did you call? Who's calling? It's going to your number. I don't know the number. No pressure, take your time. You want me to get you want me to get your shovel? Because he needed that. He needed that shovel so fucking badly. And looking at this neighborhood, I'm pretty sure the cop uh, response time is pretty fucking good. Like, this is one of those neighborhoods where the cops, like, get a meal or stop for, like, a meal on the way to the crime scene. These cops are going to be here in, let me check the watch, about the next 15 fucking seconds. I get you a shovel! Look at how he sat back in his car. You know, as soon as he slammed that door and got in, he just feels defeated. He, he's definitely out of breath or he threw his back out or some shit right there. Because, like, every time he's in his car, you see him panicking. But this time, he shuts the door and then he just sat there, both hands on the wheel, just looking straight forward, thinking, I fucked up. It's 
It's front wheel drive. You need to you need to get the other. 5244 Churchill Meadows Boulevard, Mississauga. It's front wheel drive. You you need to get the the wheels on the okay. ground. I like how the guy behind the camera, the guy who caught the perp, is now giving him a crash course as to how to flee the crime scene. Like, dude's got. Why would you buy a front wheel drive car if you have no idea what their fucking purpose is and how to use them? This is fucking mind boggling to me. Dude's got no idea. He probably stole this vehicle. Now that I'm thinking of it, he probably just stole this vehicle and now he's going to steal packages. Has to be. But why the fuck would you steal what, a Toyota Yaris for this? If I was in this situation, I would strap C4 to it, blow it the fuck up, and then flee the crime scene on foot. The, the wheel is not even on the ground. You need to get the wheel on the ground. You need to get the wheels on the ground. The police are coming. Just forget it. That's a brilliant idea. Because this dude is going to be winded, fatigued. all He's going to be all bent out of shape when they get there. He's already fucked. He's not going anywhere. There, there, there's no hope. He doesn't have the manpower. He doesn't have the car power. He doesn't have the brain power. He's out of power and he is just, he's screwed. Let's be honest, he's screwed. I wonder what was in that package. Probably like some, some college rule notebook and some coloring crowns for their daughter. Like the most worthless package this dude just risked everything for. And I don't necessarily know where the video goes from here. Um, dude's definitely not in good shape. I mean, the police came and he went nowhere. I mean, he may have got thrown in the back of the vehicle and went down to the police station. Who knows, but this is where the video ends. And uh, I don't know, I thought this was funny. There were some days where, especially this past week has been rough, where I just can't find content to make videos on. And then yesterday, like, ten things came out. And I was like, these are all perfect. And this is one of them. So I've got a bunch of videos lined up for the uh, future week. Um, so I'll see you all later.